Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to explain bug life cycle in software testing. Uh, f let's first see what is bug life cycle. The duration of or time span between first time bug is found to the point where it is closed. It goes through a process this is the process that we call bug or error life cycle first time when the bug is found it goes through these stages so whenever it is detected and then it is closed it goes through open test verify process reject deferred status As you can see, whenever the bug is found, it gets a status new. Then it is filed with open status and sent to the developer team. Then it goes through testing phase so that to check if the bug is found or not. If the bug is found, then it goes through process of reopening and verification if it is verified it gets closed if it doesn't get accepted it goes back to process via testing phase and this process carries on till it is either closed or rejected so let's see in first cycle where we found non-legitimate bug so it will go through new then we developer will assign a status as open it will go through testing phase then it will be rejected from developer team that this is not a bug or it will be kept for future versions under their first stat now in another cycle let's see a bug is found and is corrected so it will go through new then open then test under this process it will be reopened again and will be assigned then it will be tested then it is verified if there are errors then it will be reopened again under process and it will be assigned again tested then verified and it will be closed in this process box you can also think of it as opened or reassigned to the developer and then it will go through rest of the phases till it is closed the diagram may differ from organization to organization so you may find less or more of these items in flowchart so that is pretty much it the basic uh, basic or simple cycle for bug is first it is open then tested resolved or if kept pending and then it gets closed so this is another form of life cycle I hope you find this tutorial helpful I will see you in future tutorials thank you